Hey, good morning from the Botanical Garden. It's Kelly Norris, Director of Horticulture and Education. And I wanted to jump on here this morning because if you woke up in central Iowa to the wet white blanket of snow that I did, uh, you might be wondering, whoa, I thought we were having an early spring. What's going on out there in the garden? And uh, our marketing folks asked me if I would jump on because I think we've had some questions already this morning from folks who are looking out the window wondering what's going on with my plants out there if they're covered in a little snow this this morning and so I had to actually you know kind of zoom out here because frankly uh, there's it's already uh, it's already melting here in central Iowa so uh, in fact uh, there's not a whole lot of snow yet to be to be seen at this moment but uh, in fact you know a lot of our early spring flowering plants are really tough cookies uh, daffodils in particular uh, can really handle actually kind of a beating and you know actually in uh, Des Moines at least, uh, maybe probably you know all of central Iowa. This is like our third little dash of snow this week and so uh, some of these daffodils have gotten uh, have gotten quite a drubbing uh, all things considered because uh, uh, we just keep hammering them with uh, this sort of onslaught of winter but you know they seem to bounce right back. Sometimes the uh, the, the petal segments themselves uh, fade a little bit uh, once they've gotten wet uh, especially after so many times in a week but but for the most part you know those flowers kind of pop right back up. I'm going to show you uh, a, a lovely little uh, a lovely little friend right there. This is uh, uh, a variety called, uh, oh, I just wrote it down a minute ago. Don't you hate that? Sweet Love. Uh, Narcissus Sweet Love. It's a uh, smaller flower and it has kind of nods like that. Uh, and, uh, and you know, they've, they've been snowed on three times this week and they're bouncing back too. Now we've got a lot of tulips coming on, just the initial color starting to show on uh, the, our display here in the, the cane garden. And I'll, I'll, pan around here so you can you can kind of see some of that color coming on the hyacinths of course looking looking pretty good along with the anemone blandas and so you know they'll be fine all things considered you know they may show some water spotting some sort of marks on their uh, petals or on the leaves uh, as a result of the snow and and uh, the cold temperatures really it's actually the cold temperatures that we've had uh, earlier this week that can do a little damage to some of the emergent foliage or the tender buds of some plants um, you know when you probably remember from physics class uh, Oh, maybe all those years ago, that in fact when water freezes uh, for a few degrees around 32, uh, it gives off a little heat actually, and so uh, it's called the latent heat of freezing. So actually, uh, when the air temperature drops into maybe just about 28 or 29, uh, if there is snow or ice around uh, the structures of plants, it can actually insulate them a little bit. It can protect them a little bit, which is uh, kind of the principal reason why citrus growers or peach growers in different parts of the country will go out in a snow or ice storm uh, if they, or, or excuse me, go out if the temperatures are going to fall uh, below 32 by a few degrees and they'll spray everything down to create ice uh, because it does sort of have a way of insulating uh, plants as uh, as ice forms. It gives off a little bit of heat. So so really, you know, the last, like last night, for example, where it was, I think, just barely 32, um, you know, most of this won't suffer any additional cold damage. Um, but, uh, you know, a few nights ago would have been a bit rough for some things. Uh, we've noticed some damage on on some buds, uh, the red buds, the, the emerging leaves of some of the red buds have started to kind of blacken up and curl. I noticed yesterday we have a honeysuckle over here on the wall of the cane garden uh, that had uh, the leaves were starting to kind of blacken a little bit. Um, and you know, for the most part, these things will bounce back. Uh, they will they will shoot out new buds. Um, some of this uh, might affect the flowering of some plants. It may not uh, mean that they flower as robustly as we would have expected them to um, outside of uh, maybe an occurrence like this. Uh, but, but you know, for, for the most part, this, this kind of late little pop of winter uh, doesn't cause long-term uh, detrimental damage to so many of our plants. Uh, it is kind of just a, a moment in time in, in so many ways. Um, I will say, though, you know, the tricky thing, and it, it's, it's, it's good for people to to wonder and to be cautious because you know we had 80 some degrees for a day or two there um, not even just two weeks ago and and you know every uh, time we get above about the low 40s um, uh, in kind of March and April uh, we start kind of losing that cold hardiness potential that plants have accrued you didn't know you were tuning in for a plant physiology lesson this morning right but it's sort of fascinating how plants kind of work I mean how they kind of do uh, all this sort of stuff you know chemically and biologically to kind of get on 
with whatever the the world kind of um, throws at them and so uh, in fact uh, you know plants are amazing creatures like that these amazing kind of chemical uh, reactions happening inside leaves and flowers and whatnot so uh, the, the bottom line is they're gonna be fine uh, most things are gonna be fine uh, I did see uh, if you have any hardy kiwis out there you know that's an example of a plant that actually has really soft buds and uh, while it won't kill it outright it would certainly put a, a damper on its ability to uh, maybe regenerate this season but but like I said by and large for the most part most plants will be fine I'm gonna get off here and stop yakking so maybe you can get out and have a chance to enjoy uh, you know the snow melting it is kind of pretty don't tell anybody I said that it's kind of pretty um, I don't really want to admit that but uh, you know because I'm really ready for spring and it sounds like we're gonna get a lovely weekend here in central Iowa maybe up into the 60s maybe even the 70s next week uh, which is gonna be wonderful to see spring you know rightfully kind of pick up where it left off just a few days ago and of course we'll be back here sharing it with you uh, here at the Greater Des Moines Botanical Garden and we hope you have a wonderful safe and healthy weekend out there thanks so much